Is your max menu bar a cluttered mess? Meet Bartender, the app that transforms chaos into clarity. In just minutes, I'll show you how to regain control, create a sleek workspace, and make your Mac feel brand new. Stick around for game-changing tips. You won't want to miss. Welcome to the setup process. Let's get started. On the welcome screen, click Next to proceed. Next, click on Open System Preferences to grant the necessary permissions to Bartender. First, navigate to the Accessibility section. Here, locate and toggle the option for Bartender 5. You may be prompted to enter your Mac password. Do so to continue. Now, go to the Screen Recording section. If you don't see Bartender listed, simply click the plus button to add it manually. Once that's done, quit and reopen Bartender to ensure it works properly. Now, let's explore the General tab. If you want Bartender to launch automatically when you start your Mac, enable the Start at Login option. You'll notice that it is now added to your Mac's login items. Next, turn on the option for click on empty menu bar space and also enable swipe or scroll in the menu bar. Make sure to toggle the third option, hover over empty menu bar spaces. You should now see bartender functioning properly in the menu bar. To personalize your setup, you can tweak the settings displayed on the screen. For instance, you can change the bartender icon in the menu bar. I prefer this specific icon, so I'll select it. And as you can see, it now appears in the menu bar and looks great. Now, let's move on to the menu bar items tab. I'll keep the default settings since they work for me, but if you want to adjust them, you can simply drag the icons below to rearrange their positions in the menu bar. This feature is clearly explained at the top of the screen. Next, head to the Menu Bar Style section. Here, you can customize the layout for a visually stunning look. For example, you can add a background color to the menu bar. I prefer having a border as well, so I'll enable that. Adding a shadow can make the menu bar look more aesthetic, so I'll turn that on too. If you want rounded borders, there's an option for that. Toggle it on if desired. To achieve a cleaner desktop appearance, I'll also separate the left and right sides of the menu bar. At the bottom, you'll find additional customization options. Adjust these to match your style. We'll cover the preset tab later, but for now, let's move on to triggers. In this section, Bartender provides advanced settings that can be incredibly helpful. For example, you can configure it to display the battery icon when certain conditions are met, show the time machine icon when it's backing up, or have the Wi-Fi icon pop up when needed. To add custom triggers, click the Add Trigger button at the bottom. You'll also find hotkeys for various functions. These can be customized or updated to suit your preferences, allowing for quick and efficient access. Finally, in the Advanced tab, you'll see settings similar to those in the General tab. Here, you can make minor tweaks to further optimize the functionality of your menu bar. Now, let's revisit the Preset tab. This feature allows you to create customized presets for your menu bar tailored to different activities, such as gaming, coding, or studying. Bartender makes it easy to stay productive, 
no matter what task you're working on. If you're still watching, there's a good chance you're serious about improving your Mac experience. Bartender isn't just an app, it's a tool that changes how you interact with your computer. It gives you control, saves you time, and creates a more focused environment for whatever you're working on. Here's what I want you to do next. Head to the link in the description to download the free trial of Bartender. Try it for yourself and see how it transforms your workflow. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content designed to make your tech life easier and more productive. See you in the next one.